I picked it, art in sixth grade whenever I went into it in Howell, uh, first year in Howell, because I had always liked to draw, um, and whenever we had to choose an elective and that type of thing, I, was, I didn't really want to choose an elective, but I ended up choosing art because I knew that I liked to draw and I didn't know much about anything else uh, at the time. So yeah, and then it just all kind of clicked from there on. I've always loved art. Being able to express your feelings and emotions with a paintbrush and a piece of paper, it's always amused me. I picked art in middle school because my parents always told me that I was really creative and I wanted a different way to like express that creativity. One of my favorite things to do in art was rustic painting and, art and, and other activities. Rustic is like wood and old, old wood. My favorite was drawing a barn and, little, and farm animals with him. The most rewarding thing about art for me was being able to complete a picture, and, and though it might not seem that great right about now, but the picture, it's, it's always different to be able to start a project and work on that project and put all of your heart and soul into it and then have it be complete by the end and you be able to see everything that you've done and see this great work that you've done, if it's a great work or whatever. I mean, it's, it's being able to see your emotions on paper is what art was for me. Well, I'm in ceramics class and I think the most rewarding thing is that I actually get to keep the things that I make and I get to use them in like my everyday life. Like I, I make a bowl and I can eat cereal out of it and it's just, it's nice to be able to use the things that you make. For some of the art, art competitions in school, you get to create these pieces of artwork that can be pretty good and whenever you make a really good piece or you may not think it's really good but someone else really might and they'll come up to you people will come up to you after these competitions after they've seen your art and will just come up to you and offer you to buy a picture sometimes and I've gotten from I've auctioned my picture in an art competition before and got two thousand dollars for it and I've had other people come up and wanting to buy my art hundreds of dollars for only a hundred dollars but it's still money and you you mm -hmm. get to do what you want you get to draw and you get money for it and you get like this is all a part of school and you get to do this with an elective. I know going into sixth grade I thought I couldn't take art because I wasn't that great at like drawing and stuff but I did take the class because I did I was creative and stuff so once I took it I realized that I could learn from the teacher I know it's surprising and I learned a lot of skills and so I took it the next year and the next year has got all these skills so I actually ended up being good at it. I think the thing that I like the most about middle school art is that you got to be in like a classroom in a setting throughout the day that everyone in your classroom liked what they were doing. Like everyone in your class was interested in art and it's not just about painting or drawing or sculpting. You get to try out everything. Your teacher takes you through everything and you find what you're good at and what you're not good at and then you can go from there. When you're in art, you're going to have to compete in a couple of art competitions and it's kind of it can be scary because you're like, oh, who are you judging my work? But sometimes the outcome comes out to be really great, so that's okay. I competed in the base art competition for the last three years, and I went to state twice. This is great because it's one of those experiences that you couldn't have if you weren't in art. We, we want, want you to sign up for art. art.